Hello crocheters, it's Sylvia from Crazy Cool Crochet and I am bringing you another Crazy Cool Crochet tip of the day. And if I look a little worse for wear, I'm trying to power through this with a little bit of a fever. Might not be the smartest thing I could be doing, but I really wanted to get this done. Um, I've got actually a twofer, a twofer tip. <laughs> so one of the tips I want to talk about is when you are working fringe and I've got a little clip I want to show you where I show how to achieve really nice clean straight fringe um, as opposed to the, the crinkly curly cue fringe which does work in a lot of projects the curly fringe looks really cute but I think a lot of times that happens accidentally so I'm going to show you some examples of the straight fringe and the curly fringe and see which you like better and then show you how you can do either one. Okay, so let's take a look. This tip has to do with the fringe. So as we are working the project. Take care that you are pulling the yarn from the middle. Okay, because see how it's all crooked and twisty? Okay, so that's not a bad thing because as you know, we're working along, it all gets incorporated and it, it's, it doesn't affect the garment. However, when we're working fringe, you do not want those twisty pieces. You want nice straight yarn. And that's the yarn that comes from the outside. See how nice and straight that is compared to the middle? Wow! Night and day. So we want the straight yarn saved up for the fringe. What do you think about that? Go ahead and leave comments in the comment section below, the white space below the video. Let me know what you think. Um, do you have a preference? Okay, now here's the, the second tip. I don't know if it's a tip so much. Maybe it's another one of my rants. <laughs> I hope not. Um, but this is specifically, I think, for knitters. Knitters who crochet. And those of you who knit, I bow down. I tried to learn. I did learn how to knit years ago and I really, it, it, I did not like it at all. After doing crochet for so many years um, and then trying to do knit, whoa, knit is super slow, <laughs> at least it is for me. Um, and this is one of the reasons, but I, I've seen a lot of knitters um, that carry over one little procedure I guess it's, I don't know what to call it. And they carry it over into crochet and without knowing, they are slowing themselves down considerably and expending a whole lot more energy than they need to. Okay, so let me, let me show you real quick here. So I'm gonna start with a chain. Okay, now I'm going to do, I don't know, a single crochet, whatever. It doesn't really matter what stitch you're doing, but here's what they do. Right? rather than just grabbing the yarn with the hook they place the yarn on the hook like that okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do this from a different angle okay so rather than just grabbing the yarn okay so here i was just going to grab the yarn and instead they will go and then do their stitch. You see that? <laughs> Every time I see that, it, it almost physically makes me tired. It's like, okay, stop that. What are you doing? <laughs> you're, you're taking extra steps when you could just grab the yarn. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's my little pet peeve, I guess. So if that's you, if you're a knitter and this is what you do and that's just what you're used to, okay, you know, to each his own, of course, to each his own. I'm just saying, 
you know, if you want to speed up your, your crocheting, you can stop doing that. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, now I'm sweating. All right, I probably should just stop now. I had doctor's orders to rest. I can't stand to be sickly. I have too much work to do. <laughs> I've got things to do. Not places to go, but things to do. Okay, so for the curious, I have COVID symptoms, but I don't have, I already got tested negative. So now we have to figure out, okay, if it's not that, what's going on? Oh well, such is life. That's enough. This is supposed to be a quickie, a quick twofer. So I hope you found something from today's crazy cool crochet tip of the day useful in some way. Thank you. Please come back. I'm going to have more. Maybe hopefully better ones. Maybe I won't be sick. Maybe I won't be all sweaty. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right. I better go. Thank you.